My mother instilled in my sister Maya and me the values that would chart the course of our lives. She raised us to be proud, strong black women. And she raised us to know and be proud of our Indian heritage. It's just such a beautiful process to merge two very different cultures. We've been in a relationship for 14 years. I like to think of blending couples um, as some of the most resilient couples I've ever known. My partner and I had conversations about our cultural identity and what we expected in our, our lives and really early in our relationship. We were forced to have those conversations because of the stark differences in, in the cultures that we were raised in. Both of my parents are from Uganda. I was uh, born in Chicago, grew up in the Midwest, and I studied abroad in Ireland. And I met um, Sveta, who is my now wife. And we have a six-year-old and a four-year-old. Happy Diwali, everyone! You know, they're getting a nice mixture of different types of foods and they get to dress up in different clothes. They get to see different dances that they don't normally see. We got married in 2007. Ten years passed and we had never met another couple that looked like us. We have a very close um, blending couple friend. Uh, you know, we like eyed each other from across the room and we're like, are we seeing what we think we're seeing? Is that a black and Indian couple? And it felt like finding a, a unicorn. My mother. Shamala Gopalan Harris. She came here from India at age 19 to pursue her dream of curing cancer. At the University of California, Berkeley, she met my father, Donald Harris, who had come from Jamaica to study economics. The fact that my son can grow up knowing that there was a Blindian female in this high position of power within the United States government I mean, that just, I hope that for him, that shows him he can be what he wants to be. The first Blindian in our <laughs> People have been very, very critical um, of her. She's not black enough for the black community. At the same point in time, um, she's too black for the Indian community. When you think about raising children and kids, you're w wondering, what's the experience gonna be like for them? Do they hang out with the black people and not feel accepted? Do they hang out with the Indian people and not feel accepted? Representation is obviously really important and it's the first step. The, the next step, I think in, in my eyes, is holding her accountable. The next thing for us is to create spaces where Black and South Asian people are interacting and that could be over music, it could be other, over food, and just, um, just be us, really. I keep thinking about that 25-year-old Indian woman, all of five feet tall, who gave birth to me on that day, she probably could have never imagined that I would be standing before you now and speaking these words.